good morning friends let us continue to discuss the extract the childless one by zai nimkar friends in the last lecture we have just started to discuss this unit which is very significant from the perspective of indian culture friends in indian culture our family is given more and more importance because whatever india is popular throughout the world is because of its family structure because of its cultural values and for that matter in this particular context i would like to invite your attention on a very important aspect that is of relationship in the family in this particular extract zai nimkar tries to focus on a particular aspect of the status of women in the indian family structure now we have started to discuss this particular extract yesterday with the introduction of the writer that is zai nimkar friends you will find that zai nimkar belongs to maharashtra and basically she has taken her education from pune university at the same time she has taken her higher education from america that is arizona university friends it at the same time i would like to bring your kind attention on a very important aspect about the heritage of zai nimkar you will find that she has a very great heritage of maharshi karve as well as iravati karve it means that she is not a common woman or a common writer because she has a great heritage she has a great tradition of great people social reformer as well as great writer at the same time i would like to bring your kind attention on a very important aspect of her sister that is mrs gauri deshpande who is also a well known marathi writer at the same time i would like to tell you one thing that in this particular essay zai nimkar has tried to focus on the status of a woman in the family structure now let us turn on to the contribution of zai nimkar in the literary context she has written the lotus leaves and other stories in 1971 and she has also published one novel that is titled as temporary answers in 1974 means she is a versatile writer who has handled both the forms of literature that is novel and short story in this particular way we have seen the introduction of the writer in the last lecture now let us turn on to the particular context of the short story friends the childless one is a realistic story as we have seen in the last lecture in the initial part of the story at the beginning of the story we will find we will uh, notice that there is the introduction of the character that is radha who is the daughter in law of the family at the same time there is mother in law who is also playing a very significant role in this particular short story at the same time you will also find that shripati who is the husband of this particular uh, lady that is radha and radha is pregnant at this particular moment and you will find that radha is taking rest on her bed and at the same time radha's mother in law is making sarcastic comment which are going to be her, uh, going to hurt this radha who is taking rest on the bed she is pregnant her tummy is swollen however she is unable to give the birth to any of the child because because of some medical problem now let us turn on to the second part of this particular short story let us see one by one shripati had said it will be better if you go to my mother she hates me radha had said i am afraid to go to her you will see it will all be different now after all you are going to give her a grandson for his sake she will treat you well and it will be better for you to be there to have someone with you all the time here you are alone when i go to work it means that here shripati is intending or telling radha to go to her go to his mother because he will t- uh, she will take care of that particular radha as well as the grandson who is going to get the birth so in this particular way shripati is telling her to go to her mother uh, go to his mother and they all the things will be sorted out she still demurred and shripati said don't worry so much radha i will come and see you whenever i can you will be all right 
but radha is not ready to go to mother's uh, that is mother in law's house however this shripati the husband tells her that you will be you will be taken care of all the things because she is there i will be visiting all the time and therefore there is no word no worry to uh, to be done on your own level finally she had given in though she had not believed him what did he know she knew that her mother in law was too nasty to change but sons never wanted to believe the worst of their mothers see that this is a particular or typical comment regarding the mother in laws in the family structure the mother in law is always considered as a very critical as well as making very sarcastic comments about the daughter in laws because there is always a kind of conflict between mother in law and daughter in law in the indian family structure you will notice that the mother in law is always trying to trouble the daughter in law at the same time daughter in law is feeling that mother in law is always trying to bring out the mistakes of the daughter in law and there is always a kind of fight in between these two parties and in fight of these two parties there is the problem of the husband means he is not uh, he is unable to understand that to whose part he has to take means he is unable to take the side of his mother or he is unable to take the side of his wife at the, this shows that there is a problem in between these two parties problem of the husband at the same time you will also find that he is mr shripati is trying to convince radha that you have to go to his mother oh well the days would fly and in no time she would be back with shripati what would her son look like or daughter not like the grandmother radha hoped it means that radha is also not happy with her with her mother in law because when shripati asked that what how the grandson will look like definitely radha says that he will not look like his mother in law sorry her mother in law it means that radha is not hopeful about the looking of that particular child regarding uh, in connection with the mother in law now let us turn on to the next part she found that shripati had been right after all her mother in law had not actually changed of course but she seemed to feel that a certain amount of consideration had to be shown to the mother of her grandchild the consideration was grudgingly shown and radha enjoyed it all the more for it the old woman catered to her slightest whim whether it was to visit a particular temple or eat a particular food because she feared that the child might be born defective if the mother's wish remained unfilled unfulfilled radha even enjoyed the occasional malevolent glance thrown in her direct when the old woman thought she was not looking in this paragraph radha is expressing her own thoughts in concern with her mother in law she found that shripati had been right after all her mother in law had not actually changed of course but she seemed to feel that a certain amount of consideration had to be shown to the mother of her grandchild it means that radha is convinced at a, at a particular level what is that it means that not in consideration with the daughter in law but in the consideration with the grandchild the mother in law will change her attitude that was the hope of radha the consideration was gradually grudgingly shown and radha enjoyed it all the more for it the old woman catered to her slightest whim whether it was to visit a particular temple or eat a particular food because she feared that the child might be born defective if the mother's wish remained unfulfilled it means that the mother in law always try to complete the wish of that particular daughter in law that is radha why because it is a tradition in indian culture that if the mother mother's wish is not fulfilled suppose she wanted to take a particular uh, particular sweet for example gulab jamun and if that wish is not fulfilled then it is said that the child uh, child gets its birth with uh, some kind of defect like dumbness or any other kind of defect so in this way you will find that the mother in law takes care of radha to 
make her grandson uh, get the birth without any defect radha even enjoyed the occasional malevolent glance thrown in her di- in her direction when the old woman thought she was not looking it means that radha is well aware of the treatment given by her mother, mother in law so this shows that what kind of status is there of a woman in the indian family structure and you will find that there is always a kind of conflict between mother in law and daughter in law it means that radha and radha's mother in law there is a fight there is a kind of conflict now let us turn to the next paragraph shripati came for a visit and told her mother when he left look after her well as soon as he left the old woman fumed the nerve of him telling me what to do look after her indeed what have i been doing all these days but looking after her and fetching and carrying for her radha smiled to herself this was sweet revenge for all the years of being treated like dirt it means in this paragraph there is a kind of revengeful feeling which is there in the radha's mind how she expresses that let us see shripati came for a visit and told her mother when he left look after her well it means that shripati interested or willing to take more care of radha because she is pregnant and therefore shripati is always instructing his mother that you have to take care of the mother as well as the the uh, the fortress inside the womb of radha and therefore he is always and all the time instructing his mother to take care of these two and that gives a kind of satisfaction to that gives satisfaction to radha because already mother in law has taken some kind of revenge on radha she has did she has undertaken some kind of insulting treatment to radha in the past days so in this way you will find that there is a kind of uh, conflict between radha and uh, between radha and uh, the mother in law now let us turn on to the next part see that in this particular context you will notice that radha and her mother in law is there radha and his mother in law is there and they are having a kind of conflict with each other and they try to take the revenge of each other with the help of the husband that is mr shripati now see what happens in the next part when nine months of her pregnancy were over the old women asked her have you got have you counted right yes well some women go the full 9 months and 9 days it means that generally any woman in the uh, indian subcontinent takes 9 month and 9 days for uh, giving the birth to a child and some women are doubtful that whether she has counted the right days or right months for the birth of the child because there is some kind of confusion regarding the birth of the child the aunt said the first child is often late in coming especially if it is boy she smiled the comment shows that they are expecting a boy from radha because he is taking more days to get its birth a few days later shripati's mother again asked are you sure you counted right shripati's mother means the mother in law asks radha that have you counted the right days or right months because if there is some late in the birth of the child yes let me see it was poush poush is the month in marathi uh, calendar and you will find that the people in maharashtra they count the months as well as the days in the marathi uh, calendar uh, ashad uh, uh, falgun mar shirsha poush like that so there are 12 months and they count it in that particular way they counted and recounted the months the days and radha finally had to admit that she was overdue when she was almost 10 months gone the midwife was called in she poked radha her and there there and said there is time yet 
it shows that radha accepts that there is a time which is overdone means she has crossed 9 months and 9 days and however she is unable to give the birth to a child and that was a ridiculous thing and therefore everybody pokes radha even the midwife of that particular village also pokes radha for not counting the days and the months of that particular child in a proper way with these words i would like to stop here thank you thank you very much